I look down at my shoes and see they're getting older every day. I make new friends, but it feels like my old ones keep going away. And nothing really stays the same. Folks move, grow up, leave out, work jobs. It's like the only thing that never really changes here is God. My city's building streets and tearing down the place I went to school. Folks keep on moving. Some go forward, some go backward, but they move. From my friend's group and all their drama, every music form from rock, time keeps on turning like the world. The only peace out there is God. I check the clock and chaos happens every day. People keep falling. This corruption in our churches, in our streets, the devil's calling. News gets more and more insane. People keep getting stabbed and robbed, and it seems like the only stable name to call on here is God. My friends are busy all the time. My family's out. I'm all alone. It's late at night. I don't got nobody. I'm searching through my phone. The folks I thought were down for me left me when times got too hard and now there's no doubt in my mind that I could only trust in God there's nothing else there's no one there his words are what I will believe in when it's cold I gotta trust that he will wake me when I'm dreaming when it's hot then I'll believe he'll send the wind and bring the rain and when nobody's down for me I'll lean on him to take the pain God take my brain and take the strain I need his voice to call my screams I need his touch to take my stress I need his peace to never leave I need his hands to hold my heart I need his word to guide my life so when I see these news reports I'll hear him saying it's all right I've come to this conclusion earth ain't earth without words from his lips folks say that God might not be real but he's the only thing that is this present time these friends this church this poem will soon all be the past but I just realized that only what you do for Christ will last my city's building streets my Touch will lose his touch in like two years. But God's the only thing that was there, is here now and will be there. That makes it movies, money, friends, respect. These things are meaningless. The songs we listen to, the conversations, all of it is hit. But like uh, MJ, man, this is it. If you don't live for Christ, you're dead. I'm sorry. How else could I say this? Let's all get it through our heads. And if it's not his will, we need not be concerned. Money will go. Cars will break down, friends will break up, couples will leave out, folks get old. The thing that sticks, man, is your soul, and that's the only thing worth keeping. Jesus died and rose so that our souls could fly and not be bleeding. So stop bleeding and accept him. Know that all you need is faith, and if you just focus on following him, then things will fall in place, and things will change. But turn away and know he's there through cold and hot. And as this world keeps going mad, the only thing we need is God. Yeah. Praise the Lord, Way. Man, it is a blessing and an honor to be here. I'm realizing two things. One, that I'm so excited to be ringing in 2022 here with you. Yes. <laughs> and two, that I definitely wore the wrong top. It's so hot up here. <laughs> but... <clears throat> So many times, like in my past, I would always say, like, yo, this new year, I'm going to be completely different. It's going to be a new year, new me. Y'all ever heard that before? I be new for about, like, two weeks. <laughs> and then that old, star, star, uh, that old stuff start looking new, too. Uh, it's weird, you know, the process of being made new. God's spirit is constantly working inside of us. And even though we might change, some of the circumstances and some of the things around us might stay the same. And there's such a conflict to really be this changed, new, peculiar person when you're around these old circumstances and sometimes old family, old family dynamics and old friend dynamics. I wrote a piece about it called Old Friend. I pray that it blesses you. Feel free to play the video. When a person leaves a sinful path to walk a righteous one, they leave behind many things. Sometimes they have to leave behind people. This is a story about facing one of them. Hey, yo, Chris Well, what's up, man? 
How you been, man, oh, boys? Been you used to be crazy, man, back in the day. I thought that God forgave my sins till I ran into you. Your face reminded me of all the bad I used to do. Old friend, where you been is what you say. But you see my Twitter chain, so you know that I've been made new. And you don't understand it, and I'm scared to explain. How do I tell the dude I sinned with that God took my pain? Trying to relay it verbally, it's a spiritual change. You had to see the only thing consistent is I look the same. But I'm not the same, so why do I feel condemned? Feel like you talk about my past and I'm ashamed of it. The old days of broke brains and champagne stomachs. I got so used to thinking that I never came from it. That when I saw you, it brought me back. Like a heart attack and a heart that's whack. You asking me to spark it back. And I've been scared to know whether or not I had the strength to resist and I hit it. That's why I had never called you back. Now we back, so man, where do I start? You knew me as a hypocrite before, it breaks my heart. You saw me say it and not live it, make a poem that contradicted with my constant sin and I've torn my witness apart. I guess I say I let you down and you ain't even know. You looked up to me for the truth and I ain't let it show. Oh boy, I'm rooted to the spot, hot like a boiling pot. My failings in my face, so here we go. Um, yeah, I'm good, man. How's your hood, man? Oh, that one girl? No, I don't talk to her. God, give me the courage to from back. Holy Spirit, give me words to say and take me out this thought sewer. Let them understand. Let me plant a seed. Why can't, why can't I think? Why can't I breathe? Why can't I tell them that Jesus is not my everything? I was blind, now I see my heart's free and all my sins been redeemed. God has not given me a spirit of fear, yet cowardice is here. It's facing me loud and clear. It's like I'm on trial, on stage, and he shines a spotlight. And I'm stuck in headlights like I was a deer. And I know he don't got no hell to put me in. And I know hell is what he's probably looking at. And I know this was probably set up by the Lord for him to see me walking straight though I was once a crooked man. And I believe it and receive it that it is my father's plan. And of course he sent me, dude saw me sinking in the sand. Now if I share my faith and can help change my brother's faith, yo, if Apostle Paul was here, then he would be like, that's the plan, go do it. With no music and no pastor. He don't need that yet, he need God. The tux comes after, he's not happy. I got joy, I'll share it with my boy and I'll be real because I don't need a Christian ploy to share my faith. Okay, I'm going to share my faith. Yo, what time is it? You say it's getting late. You say you got to leave. Well, hold up, homie, wait. Before you walk away, I got something I got to say. Hey, Amen. yo, yo, listen. Yo, I became a Christian. Yo, as you know, my life before was one big dummy mission. My heart was burning slow like all the J's we used to roll, but I let Jesus take control, and then I lost my taste for sinning. And Jesus made me new. Yo, why you laughing, dude? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm not delirious. I know you're curious. Bro, I changed my life because everything I had was stupid if I wasn't having Christ. Even with the girls' numbers in my phone, and even with the name brand designer clothes, and even if I had a million dollar home, we were not made to be without the one who made us and who gave us life. I was like Kanye. I was the God I loved, and God was trying to teach me, but I never learned enough. I should have learned to trust him when I went through crazy stuff until I made Jesus king, and then my life got wide shut. I was a punk. You remember, no matter what, I couldn't get right. My faith got so worse than ghetto kids' bikes. Was empty till a dude introduced me to his Christ. Now I'm free and I feel fine as my beautiful wife. You gotta meet her, bro. Hey, Jesus loves you, man. And he wants you to be a part of his master plan. You dead without him. He'll give you life if you take his hand. He can take your sin and give you the gut to take a stand. Do you want to meet him? Do you want to greet him? Do you think you need him? Or do you want to be him? Think about it. Praise God. Got one more. <laughs> so the process of being made new is it. It's a beautiful one, you know, that dying daily, like uh, it's dying daily, but for me it's dying every single second. <laughs> because if it's not like an old situation, an old family dynamic, an old friend, I got enough problems right here in my mental trying to drag me back to those old ways. And it's a constant renewing of the mind process. This last piece that I'm gonna share with you all is about that process and I pray that we constantly renew our minds and ask the spirit in us to increase so that we can de decrease all through 2022 so feel free to play the video
There's a war going on in my head. I've wrestled with thoughts all day. The inside of my mind is an MMA boxing ring and my bad ideas are better fighters than I'd ever thought they'd be. With every match they win, the temptation that starts in my heart plays out in the theater of my mind like a musical. My thoughts become starving artists that want me to perform the stupid things I'm thinking. See, in this riot where our daydreams peer pressure our actual actions, we're not safe. Because if my thought life came alive, then that life would feed the prison pipeline. A wild west outlaw that takes my focus, kidnaps it, and kills my good intent without any regret. And like every witness to a murder, I'm scared to say anything about it out loud. But up here, I am fighting a, a losing battle. It's like, it's like, it's almost like there's a me inside my head that I don't want to be. A, a little me that makes me feel the same way mothers do when their kids act up in school. A me that embarrasses me, that's unstable, that's unholy, that takes every good thing and twists it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just gonna diss me like that in front of all these people? I'm sorry, who, who, who's that talking? I can't. <laughs> Who's talking? It's me. Who, who? What, your thoughts? Oh, dear Jesus, no. What, you thought you could spend a full poem bashing me without me taking your focus away? <laughs> uh, I am so sorry, people. This is, well, this is what I was just telling you about. Give me one second, okay? Hey, look, mind, I'm doing something important. I'm at the way. I need you to focus, okay? Thank now, you. when has that ever happened? Yo, I'm for real! Bro, I'm only focused when you're on Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Netflix, and Xbox. I balance those like a tightrope on the checkbook. But when it's time to tip around and turn in homework, I turn off. Yeah, why do you do that, by the way? Well, you have a very serious condition that I've never told you about. It's called man brain. Man Boy, if you don't stop, no, I'm serious. It's the same thing that makes you know the whole Fresh Prince theme song, but blank on John 316. Well, if that's the case, then some of these girls got man brain too, cause, hey, look, that's not the point. Look, you're distracting me. I need you to go away. I can't. Ah, uh, this dude. Me and you are connected like ghettos and liquor stores. Everywhere you go, I pop up, and we've been sober since birth. See, minds don't get enough credit. We're the ones who have to sort out all the your phoniness and hypocrisy. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? I am not phony, okay? <sighs> Easy example. Look, you don't want to be rude, but somebody's talking. Your face acts like you're interested when your mind is comparing their breath to walking dead. I find it amazing how you speak in holy English, but you think in cuss words. Oh, no, 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 hey, 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 relax, okay? Why? Your secret's safe with me. Look, I'm the sanctuary that holds the sin you don't confess. I bear the weight of the real you and wash the walls that you put up so people think you're perfect. I'm an introvert's best friend, too. That inside savage folks don't think you have is had with me. Okay, look, stop. I've had enough. You make it sound like we're cool, but you betray me at every thought. Terrorist attack in my imagination until my faith flies at half mass. You stage demonstrations to protest all things pure, bad thoughts, picket sign the streets of my dreams to my flesh riots. This, this ain't even a conversation, y'all. This is a sit-in from an angry batch of leftover daydreams who play montages of bad ideas to get attention. You are godless. I gotta read my Bible to, to clean you. Yeesh, a healthy biblical diet? Yes. How about I help you stay on biblical fast food? Oh, why, so we could get fat off junk? Is that What? The... No. No, 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 no. So we can consume sin, too, and not get sick. Very. See, I know how much conviction conflicts us. So if you stay in your word less, then I know less. The less I know, the more I doubt. And the more I doubt, the less obligated we'll feel to stop sinning. So I'll send signals to your hand to check your Twitter instead of your Bible and let you coast along conviction-free, okay? Man, no! Oh. Ooh. Hey, your breath smell hot, it makes Mike's feedback. Hey, hey shut <laughs> up. Stop. Yo, your breath smell like the rapture happened on Thanksgiving and everybody just left their food out. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Look, he's doing it again, y'all. He's taking my train of thought and, and derailing it. I can't stand this dude.
I hate to tell you this, but your train of thought was never on track to begin with. Your train of thought turns into a roller coaster with that twisted sense of humor that we enjoy. Finding funny in the foulest and pleasure in the profane. Hey, does God like all the things we think of? Oh, you're so sick, bro. Yeah, I have no immune system. Okay, look, I'll admit, y'all. My entertainment sometimes enjoys the ungodly and pokes a hole in my holiness, but not anymore, y'all. Through this mob of crowded thoughts, I'll climb a tree to get to Jesus like Zacchaeus if I need to. See, I gotta put you in the past where you belong. The past? Yes. Because... <gasps> the past? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not thinking about the past no more. No, not anymore, okay? Yeah, why not? Because I'm a child of God and not a child of Israel. I'm not trying to boomerang back to Egypt and be a slave again. And you, you can't turn us back, bro. Bro, nobody said anything about turning back. But what's a little visit in your mind every now and then? No. Hey, don't lie like it wasn't fun. Yo, it wasn't, okay? Chill. I know you hop in cars with strange memories and bum rides to familiar places. In the hotel hearts of your exes, you wonder if you're still checked in sometimes. Keeping receipts of canceled reservations despite new renovations, and that's okay. Hey, shut up. Shut up. I'm tired. You are pissing me off in San Bernardino, all right? Y'all like how I got his mouth in my hand right now? That's crazy, right? <sighs> okay, look, man. This is what I've been meaning to tell you. I don't... I don't enjoy you anymore. You used to be my only way to understand the world around me, but now you're a habit. And, well, I gotta get rid of you, okay? What? Breaking up with me? Only my bad thoughts. It's just that I can't trust whether you would follow the God that made you or the flesh that you're inside of, okay? How you gonna get rid of me? Oh, I was thinking I was gonna start- Better question. How you gonna get rid of me after everything I held for you? No, but you weren't supposed to have control in the first place. You were supposed to be dedicated like a child to our father. So I've been nothing but a friend to you. Yeah, but you haven't. I gotta defy you just to stay in my word. Look, I know that you're mad, but this is the way that things happen. Mad. I hold everything for you. You forget, I can keep you happy, preoccupied, or horrified at the drop of a hat. You better keep me as is, cause I could put you through war to change me if you try. Um, but it's war to keep you too. You're like a firework accident. Beautiful, but deadly. Left to your own devices, you're as eager as the gun that fills the hate in the hand that holds it. You unload insanity, and I can't have you in my house any longer. Huh. How am I that bad? Yo, it's me letting you relearn the things I promised God I'd unlearn. Procrastinating every opportunity to grow in faith and action. I am tired the same way zoo animals feel when they bump up against the glass. You never let me break through. You question the possibility of me being who God calls me to be so much. Sometimes I believe your doubts more than his voice. I doubt life and we, we think death. Ignoring a million good things to focus on the one bad. When I let you run wild, bro, we crash hard. Not true. We only crash because you don't know how to stay in your lane. No, I question who you are because you do. You're so discontent that you transform us to a scratch record. Playing different things depending on who you bump into. That's you want to get rid of me? It's probably because you care about other people's thoughts about you more than your own. Oh, now you know that's not true. You want to be liked so much that you prostitute our personality. Switching how we act to fit whatever group you find yourself in. A color changing chameleon that morphs to fit the crowd. Hey, you got hey, no wonder why I'm not working top notch. I'm dealing with trying to process your insecurities and keep us both not insane. Well, my skeletons ain't staying and you, you gotta go with them. What, you don't think this weight is heavy on me? I hold your secrets. Oh. You don't think that's heavy on me? What, you don't think it's heavy on me? You, you don't, don't think, think it's heavy, heavy on me? me? You made me believe. believe. I'm Edward Scissorhands. I cut everything I touch. I'm dark for months like the North Pole. No sign of 
have a light or life inside of me. I you made my faith, faith have one foot in the grave and another in a banana, banana pill. You I told me you I was nothing and had me believe it. If I wanted to, I could find hallways full of lies where we walk hand in hand together till we're lost. Till temptation twitches between my trembling temples like tremors in an earthquake. You hate me. When God's fingernail scratches the sky to create rainbows, I'll convince you it's science. I'll have you approach your faith with stupid Stevie Wonder superstition if you try hey, me. Listen, you hey, gotta stop talking. It's my turn now. If you wanna be friends, then how about having your mind be your worst enemy? I'll get your sin sickness stuck in your head like a song. Hey, cover your ears. Listen, I'll keep stop. you up at night. Make the sun a Please. rotten apple you're afraid to take a bite of. Try and change me. Hey, it's not my fault you let the streets down. and your Please. dreams get this You're bad. Probably. I'm a product of my I environment. Deadly Please. stitches from my heart like dirty Stop. dishes that you never clean. Stop. I'll, I'll admit, I thought my thoughts were a free ride. The one place I could let sin roam and not get caught. I thought that I was free to act perfect, but think whatever. But hypocrisy, hypocrisy isn't always doing the opposite of what you say. Sometimes it's thinking it. And if I'm honest, I've entertained thoughts like guests in my living room. Believe in it, it's just me and them and that together we keep secrets that nobody would ever be able to discover. And if I choose to slap box this big, bold, Mayweather-shaped mess of a mind by myself, I'll mess up every time. My willpower is no match for the sin in my skin. My only hope to switch my tune is from the God who can change the tempo of a beating heart until it matches the rhythm of his will. And for all those times in pride, I tried to control my mind. My mind ended up controlling me. Pride tells us that we're in charge of things that we never had a handle on. Like God could only take care of our lungs and veins and spiritual strength. But our mental health is up to us to say that God saves us, but up here cannot change us. It's a lie. The God who is making all things new does so with minds too. And if his spirit found a house inside of you, you, then it is working. It's just up to us to offer up our hearts of stone to the God who gives that spirit, working out our salvation with fear and trembling while casting every thought out that presents itself against his glory. It's called a good fight for a reason. Lift weights in your word and only let your guard drop for God's guidance, knowing that as soon as you are saved, the renewing of your mind has started. Don't let anything take that from you. What God started in you, continue. Yeah. <laughs>